Hi, this is Kenny Xie speaking. Uh, this will summarize uh, what we learned from the thermodynamics. From previous, we mentioned about the cell voltage is can be expressed as a function of temperature and pressure, and then can be calculated at a different temperature pressure. From the thermodynamics, this equation, we can calculate the cell voltage at a different temperature if we know the delta H and the delta S. And for the pan fuser, we know uh, the cell voltage was decreased as the temperature increase. And uh, for the pressure effect, we, knew, we know um, from the nurse equation, the cell voltage can be expressed as a function of pressure for different speeds. So we can combine these two effects and summarize into this equation. So at a different temperature and pressure, we can calculate the cell voltage from this equation. So uh, for the thermodynamics, we can calculate, um, we, therefore, we had to make a uh, balance for the electrochemical reaction on the anode side and then the cathode side. First, we had to make a mass conservation for the reaction uh, before the reactant and after the product and the reactant. There should be uh, cons conservation or make a balance. And then the charge uh, between the uh, be between the uh, before the reaction and after reaction, they should be balanced. And then the between electro, the electron uh, release from anode should be accepted by the cathode, and they should be equal. So then we can write the overall equation. Based on the overall equation, we find the delta G, delta H, and those kind of things. And from this, then we can calculate any, we, if we can find any two of them, we can always calculate the third one. They've been related by this equation. So we know the delta G or delta H for our, the electrochemical reaction. Then we can calculate the, um, the energy density, volumetric energy density or gravimetric energy density for the fuel, for instance, the hydrogen, we can calculate. And also we can calculate intrinsic efficiency based on this uh, equation. And then the cell voltage, uh, we also can calculate by this equation. And then the cell voltage at a different temperature or pressure, we can calculate by this equation. Now uh, we uh, provide this exercise. Uh, I wrote all this uh, uh, find up on the website, get all the data, the heat of formation and free energy for each species um, over here. Uh, can you write it down for the overall heat reaction or the free energy for each different kind of uh, electrochemical reaction. This is the reaction taking place in a pen fuel cell or PAFC, phosphor acid fuel cell or alkaline fuel cell. And this one is we think more or less for the solid oxide reaction or the MCFC, molten carbonate fuel cell at a high temperature, the methane can be fit, methane can be fit directly. This for the direct methanol fuel cell, and this one for direct uh, formic acid fuel cell, and this a direct ethanol fuel cell. Uh, this one is a uh, octane. Um, this one is not really going to happen if you feed octane into the fuel cell. Nothing going to happen. But over here, I just put it down as for the comparison. From the thermodynamic can be calculated. And because of this uh, three is uh, for portable application, um, over here I or for for a fair comparison, all the water is used gas phase, and that means the low heating value. So um, the intrinsic efficiency, if we can calculate delta H, then we can calculate the uh, uh, intrinsic efficiency. So over here, you can calculate all the delta H and the delta G. Over here, because since these three is a direct methanol, formic acid, or ethanol, is for portable application, so the water uh, use liquid phase. 
and then this one the pen fuel cell I choose the gas phase and this one if you feed into the solid oxide fuel cell or molten carbon fuel cell I assume this is for suppose to use a gas phase in that case you if you can uh, find all those number calculate then you can calculate the efficiency based on this <coughs> over here is uh, the efficiency more than a hundred percent that's mean this one might be uh, is an endothermic reaction or something so make a or the the delta G is much greater than delta H is a the heat absorption so make a, uh, the energy efficient greater than 100 but in reality it shouldn't because uh, uh, there's some other energy conversion efficient loss so in reality the efficiency is much lower than this this is just ideal case and the uh, also from thermodynamics, you can calculate the energy density if you know the uh, volume or the weight. So, so you, if you got all the density, over here I assume it's the ideal gas at the one atmosphere uh, pressure, so one bar. So that's uh, the, for the gas uh, uh, density. And this one is liquid phase uh, density. I can, you can find it on the website. So from here, you can calculate the uh, gravimetric energy density divided by the density itself. Then you can calculate the energy density, volumetric energy density. For gas phase, this two is very low. And uh, this one, the liquid phase uh, fuel, so it's much higher. And for the formic acid here, it's much lower. The reason is, uh, they only had two electron transfer, so actually the energy is much lower because two electron transfer per mole of mass uh, formic acid react, and also the gravimetric uh, energy density. You can see the liquid phase is much higher. You can uh, actually for the if you consider the gravimetric energy density, hydrogen very large. Unfortunately, because the gas, so the volumetric energy density very low. That's why the for portable application we pick uh, the liquid phase for the fuel. So, uh, so the energy density either in volumetric or gravimetric is much higher. Formic acid is not good, so the methanol is uh, is uh, the best choice. Ethanol actually much hi higher than the methanol, but in electrochemical reaction it's much slower the electrochemical reaction for ethanol is more or less more or less 10 times slower than the methanol so pr for practical purpose uh, methanol is a right now is a, a priority choice for the portable application but if you can uh, can overcome the sluggish reaction rate for ethanol uh, this may be much better choice The cell voltage also can be calculated from this reaction, this equation, and um, surprisingly, it doesn't matter what kind of fuel uh, for the fuel cell. Uh, from thermal dynamics, the cell voltage almost close, more or less close at uh, one volt, somewhere around the vicinity at uh, one volt. Even this one is a much higher uh, delta G because the uh, electron over here, number of electron transfer and uh, balance out so the cell voltage is somewhere around one volt it's a kind of amazing how it's come out like this 